Bula vinaka and greetings from Suva, Fiji Islands. Uh, the University of the South Pacific is a regional university with 12 member countries. So our research uh, project team consists of staff and postgraduate students of the university. The Transforming Universities for a Changing Climate or Climate U, Team Fiji Participatory Action Research Groups or PARGs, funded by the UK Research and Innovation, consists of staff and students of three universities in Fiji. The University of the South Pacific, which is leading the Climate UWorks in collaboration with the Fiji National University and the University of Fiji. Our PERG will be carried out in Watukawi village, an indigenous Fijian village in Tahua, located in the western part of the Pilebu, Fiji. Uh, this village is surrounded with rocky hills, so their main uh, land use activities are mining, commercial sugarcane cultivation, fine plantations on the upper ridges, and animal husbandry. Now, their water catchment is their main source of uh, water, but it, is, uh, it usually dries up during the dry season. So one of the main purposes of this uh, project is to restore their water source by using their traditional ecological knowledge as an intervention. So today our team will tell Noa on the processes as well as who will be involved in this um, project. The main uh, activity in this uh, PRG is the, the restoration of uh, the watershed. Uh, we will be replanting uh, uh, the buffer zones of the riparian vegetation of these uh, uh, watersheds um, with the native uh, fruiting trees native trees in these communities. Also, vetiver grass is a good stabilizer. Uh, this is to um, protect, uh, further uh, restore the, the watershed from, um, from drying, uh, also e erosion, and also support uh, the food security and the, the livelihood of these communities. Mm. In addition to, to that is um, um, the use of uh, these trees as part of mitigating impacts of climate change. Eh? And Fiji is currently one of the countries uh, that is leading the campaign in planting trees. Uh, if I'm correct, um, and I can be correct if I'm wrong, um, we are planning to have 4 million trees planted by end of 2025. <laughs> 30 million. Um, 30 million. 30 million, yes. 30 million trees. Um, and I think in addition to, to what Apollosa had mentioned, um, I think monitoring and evaluation is an important component of the project. Eh? So this way it will, the community will take ownership and also the sustainability of the project eh? when it ends. Um, that brings me to another, uh, another point in you know, the, those who will be involved and what will they be doing in, in, in this project. Eh? Um, PERG is in this project involves a lot of uh, a whole um, uh, involves everyone you know so provisional administration provincial council sorry uh, and also chiefs uh, these are the, um, the main entry points into any community um, and I'm, I'm sure Apollosa knows most of most of these uh, uh, these steps in going into the village I mean in entering into into the village yeah, yes, Felipe. Uh, now, um, Apollosa being our community liaison uh, and as well as a practitioner, uh, he's mentioned about um, uh, Talanoa and consultation with our knowledge holders, which is uh, very important because they know best about their Vanua and um, they would have had used some of those knowledge mm -hmm. in the past and it may have worked and uh, we are there to to learn from them mm -hmm. as well as help them utilize this uh, knowledge so that um, it uh, best um, uh, intervenes or uh, addresses uh, the their water uh, uh, shortage uh, issue. Um, no, without uh, their approval, we cannot um, go into the communities to to engage with them and uh, continue with our project. I agree with the, the provincial council as the key institution to be notified or consulted with all these initiatives in these uh, communities. Uh, we also have uh, the district council and district committees that we, we might engage them in in this uh, BRG. Uh, 
using the inclusive uh, approaches, uh, we will involve the, the children, uh, the women as uh, the drivers in the communities, also the people living with disabilities uh, to be part of this uh, PRG project. Uh, documentation of um, uh, all, uh, all of this uh, uh, process and uh, the knowledge, the information shared, the stories uh, will be also important. Uh, um, <clears throat> documentation uh, to pass or to share these uh, lessons learned and the stories to, to the future generation and maybe to other communities that uh, might want to uh, uh, carry out the similar uh, activities. Yeah? In using the uh, participatory uh, approach in uh, involving um, uh, everyone in, in the community, um, we also have bi-directional learning where we learn from uh, each other, uh, as well as uh, we will be involving uh, student specialists, these are students who are um, um, doing uh, postgraduate programs uh, and specialize in uh, plants, uh, food preservation, water, uh, as well as uh, the media. Now, including the the uh, members of the community in the in in the consultation as well as the implementation of the project allows us uh, to not only learn from each other but um, um, ensure that the community members take ownership of the project and uh, sustain it uh, when we leave as well as replicate it um, to address future climate issues. Thank <laughs> you.